Okay, so just to show that I know what I'm talking about, uh, I made this. Okay, with Spain. Okay, so uh, I would say the best uh, starting place for a beginner is uh, in the high middle ages, but not with uh, Leon as the tutorial gets you, but with uh, Mumu right here, not this guy who is the count, but this guy who is the duke. Uh, the idea goes that there is a count and above a count is a duke and above a duke is uh, a king. So here is uh, a duke. Who is a vassal to the king? Okay, so start with Mumu. Whatever conditions. Okay. Uh, Ireland is also called the Tutorial Island in Crusader King's Day and the uh, tree as well. Okay, so let's see. The first thing you do when you start a game is uh, go here on Realms. Here you can set up some maps. Uh, which, whichever you find useful, you see. Uh, the most useful, in my opinion, are uh, realms, then religion, following by culture, uh, the jure duchies, this will be important later, and the revolt risk, uh, I think I throw it there for the sake of it, not much of a big deal. Okay, so, when you begin a game, forget about this, uh, first thing you do, you go to your council and assign a task to each of your council. So, uh, the first one here, I think, fabricate claim. Yeah, probably the best. Here, train troops so you can have more troops. Here, collect taxes so you can have more money. Uh, study technology so you can have technology. Find a very important city with a lot of technology such as Paris. Uh, unless we have some regions to convert our religion. Improve relig uh, religious relationship, especially if you're playing a Catholic, because uh, religion is very important for the Catholics. Okay, that's about it uh, here on the council. Then you go to your main character, which is also your family tab, and you are not married. Okay, you need to get married. You can marry with anyone, but it's very important to marry with someone uh, that will get you an alliance. For example, a very good uh, starting place is the King of Denmark, because He's got a lot of children. You can either go here, here, and uh, pick a marriage from here, or uh, uh, be careful with this. For example, because you are playing Ireland specifically. For example, you can marry the princess of Hungary, which could get you an alliance with Hungary, but they are landlocked, so they can't help you even if they would want to. Okay, so we can go to Denmark. Uh, this one is unmarried. So you can right click her, arrange marriage with yourself, okay, and then go yes. Uh, matri matrilineal means that uh, basically, I think it says here, children born of the couple will not be in your dynasty. So if you play as a female character, it's in your interest to go for a matrilineal marriage. But if you're playing a male, you want uh, the heirs to be uh, of your own dynasty. So, like this, you marry yourself, also have a child, another potential for an alliance. Let's see, Scotland maybe? Nope. William the Conqueror, because he will... Uh, yep, William the Conqueror. Uh, betrothal, if uh, they are under 15, with my son. They don't want to. Okay, fine. France is very weak at the start of the game, but they will get better soon. I'm only... I am... Uh, okay, he likes me, but uh, that doesn't really do much, because I'm a duke and he's a king, so different social status, that's why they are so reluctant. Okay, so Navarra here has a port, they could help. If you want to skip all this step to stop manually looking, you can simply click your son, arrange marriage and see here, you can see. Okay, so... Maybe this game, uh, what was his name, 
Harold the second will win, but uh, we don't know that. If he loses, William the Conqueror conquers England, so not much of a use for us. Okay, so let's go with the uh, Princess of Navarra. And yes, okay, so you married your children. Ah, I also have brothers. I can marry them too, two more alliances. Yeah, why not? It's worth a gamble. Because I also have one more brother. Uh, Burgundy, no. This is interesting. Okay, so they have sea access, so they could help me in a situation. Okay, so let's. Uh, we have done that, right? Now, normally, we will start the game and see how it plays out. But before that, I want to show you what every button does. What what the heck is going on here, basically? This is your character. Uh, you left click and right click to interact with the character. Okay. These are your traits. Uh, your traits, you can see they give you give you or take your stats. Usually, they are these stats, but also opinions of your vessels. Here are your vessels, basically the people who are under you. All right, uh, here are modifiers, which we currently don't have any. Modifiers are essentially temporary traits. They don't stay permanently. Here are your titles. Basically, I own this county and own this petty kingdom. The reason I why I own only this one is because this one is owned by a vessel of mine. You see? And this one as well. These are my vessels, who also have two of their own vessels too. And uh, these four are my vessels. I have a bishop right here, uh, which exactly this building. Uh, Earl, who is this guy? Uh, this other guy? And the last one is the mayor, who is the mayor of this city. So this city, this uh, church, and this is my personal uh, realm. Uh, in this realm, these are my troops. These are the garrison that I always stay on defense, and levy that I can always raise up when I want to go to a fight. So when you want to go to a fight, go to military and raise personal levies. There you go. You can also raise vassal levies. Uh, or you want to select them and uh, disband or simply disband them from here all right uh, other things my house basically in crusader kings 2 which is uh, free to play by the way uh, you don't uh, play as a country so for example if i would have picked france i would have played with france i would have played with the king of france who has a family relations vessels people in the court pacts and so on so he, you play as the guy who owns the title the title of kingdom of france and uh, you can see this guy change so i'm essentially playing with my dynasty after uh, after i this character die king uh, murchad dies i will play with uh, his heir which is basically his son brian mac Mur murchad uh, and so on. The only way I can lose the game is if I lose all my titles, all my territories, or if uh, my dynasty dies. That basically means I have no male heir. But currently I'm safe because I have two brothers and uh, one son. So, pretty big family right there. Okay, some more marriage possibilities. Already have a lot to pick from right here, so why not? Just. Just marry as many as you can because uh, alliances are very useful, especially early game when you are not so big. All right, this is also the way to go in multiplayer, by the way. All right, so I married a lot of people. Okay, uh, my religion, feudalism is usually the norm, so whatever. Treasury. Uh, when you usually go in the crusades or important event happens, you can get unimportant items like, I don't know, the nail of the true cross that will increase your piety. Or so. it, it, they are basically artifacts that are valued. Great works are basically this ap apostolic uh, palace or uh, where was it? This Petra. Uh, important stuff like. Uh, Wonders of the world, if I could call them uh, that way. Okay, uh, leading armies, whether you allow your 
ruler to lead armies or not. And here are the important ones. Ambition. When it comes to ambition, uh, go for get married at first. Simply because we are going to get married soon and uh, complete this ambition, so why not? Uh, the mere size is how much land you can personally own. You see, currently, it's the counties, okay? So, I have the petty kingdom of Mumu, which basically makes me a duke. But uh, there's no actual land, this one. It's a title. The actual land are, are the counties. And uh, I have this county right here. Uh, the county... Not, you know, not even gonna bother with that. Uh, which... Uh, where I have troops, my castle and uh, other stuff like that. So right now I, ha I have only one out of a max impossible of two. Okay? Uh, then is the vessel limit, which is the limit of how many vessels you can have. If you have more than this, you can have, but you'll have penalties. That's basically the idea. Then is the army levies. Army levies are basically your troops, the sum of all your armies, basically this plus this. Uh, coin, wealth, yeah, also here, you see. Uh, prestige here and piety here. Piety is relevant for religion, prestige relevant with other nobilities. And these parts are very important. These are basically your skills, how competent you are. Diplomacy, you see this, this one is your personal one. And this one is your state one. So your state diplomacy is going to be, I think, uh, your personal one plus your consular plus half of your wife or something like that. So diplomacy, military, uh, money basically, how good are you at getting taxes and stuff like that. Intrigue, intrigue is useful for assassinations and stuff like that. And learning is basically being bookish or stuff like that mostly church related in this period and here is your personal combat and the difference between this and this is that the second one is uh, how good are you as a general so at leading troops and this one is your personal combat skill so how good are you with the sword one is strategy the other is personal tactics if i could say so okay this uh, here is your family where you can click on them and uh, interact with them Everyone also has traits and uh, stuff like that, you see. Uh, the relations, not so important. Vassals, very important here. Court, very useful people who are in your courtroom. Pacts, very useful when you make alliance. And abroad, doesn't really matter. So, family and history. These are rather important. Okay. Uh, council, I already showed it. Make sure you always give your counselors uh, something to do. If you ever need to have someone a slightly better opinion of you for example this guy he has two if i needed him to have seven or something for some reason you can give him a minor title for example here i already done it but uh, you see uh, not not uh, hasn't started yet but uh, you can give titles to people and uh, it will improve their opinion of you. you. See here, opinion plus five because I made him this one. But it also cost me money. I didn't want to do that, but now that I have done it. Commanders, very important to have above skill eight. So this one, skill eight is average. I'm bad at diplomacy, good at general, bad, bad, terrible. Good at personal combat. So this character is more of a warrior right now. It's all randomly generated, so you won't have these thoughts all the time. Um, so let's get to the next one. Laws. Laws are basically inheritance, realms, and obligations. Obligations don't matter. Inheritance, you want to put it on... Uh, basically, who gets to inherit your uh, possession after you die. Now, agnatic on gratic gravel kind, which is basically the norm in the medieval age, is very bad for you because... Your eldest son inherits everything and uh, your other son in inherits something less. For example, if you are a king, uh, your eldest son will be a king, but uh, your other son will take some land as well from you, which you don't want because you are only going to play with your eldest son afterwards. And your brothers, uh, they are not going to be children for you anymore, they will be brothers. So you want this to be either primogeniture, the oldest child gets everything or ultimogeniture which the 
youngest child gets everything. Uh, ultimogenitor is easier to get because for primogenitor, as you can see, uh, you are going to need uh, no negative. There was something that made this a little bit more difficult. Uh, so, ultimogenitor is usually easier to to get it and also more uh, useful because if you are 18 years old and you die and you have a 10 years old child. You are going to play with that guy for 17 years, uh, se 70 years, so it's going to be a lot. And if you manage to have a realm of your own, and all the dukes are from your dynasty, you can even go for, and this is the best one if you manage to pull that out, elective monarchy, because it doesn't matter who wins the elections, they are all going to be from your dynasty. Basically corruption, but on a medieval level, this is amazing if you manage to pull that off. Now, I would put myself on Ultimogenitor if I could, but uh, I need to have reign for at least 10 years. So, 10 years later, I will come back here, and if all these conditions check out, I will go on Ultimogenitor. Now, on the realm, you would want to have uh, a centralization as, uh, as large as possible, at maximum centralization, you see, because the, the mers demand size will increase. So, it, that means you can have more lands. Currently, I have only this county. Who I personally owned. The reason this is important is because the more counties you own, the greater your army. For example, as you can see here, I have quite a lot of troops from my personal levies, but from the vassals not so much because vassals by feudal law, they only give you a fraction of their army. They are not required to give you their whole army to battle, but you can take your whole army to battle. So. Laws, centralization, okay, they will vote yes, hopefully. Technology is not that important, whenever you unlock a technology, just go for it. If I would uh, give you some important ones, military organization, despite being the last, is very useful. Infantry, because you're going to have a lot of this. Uh, noble custom improves the opinion of your nobles. Uh, Majesty was also useful, not remember why, though. Uh, Majesty was useful anyway. Cities and temples, castle infrastructure, improved keeps. This one's also very useful. Uh, legalism, if you want to go here with the laws for for some of them. Uh, we see, see here, legalism a level is greater or equal to 5. So you are going to need here to be at 5 to pull that off. Military, I already showed you. Levies, here are your vessels. If you want, you can hire mercenaries, you see. To fight in your wars if you are losing you can always hire a mercenary and here are your ships you don't need ships except for transport basically mostly you're going to fight with this intrigue is when you want to kill someone and make decisions here are some decisions most of them are really good like uh, hold a feast this is very good for your prestige invite a noble to court if you want to give land to someone without family connections so can be useful sometimes uh, buy indulgence for your sins. This is because you are Catholic. You can do that. And uh, choose a plot. You can either choose a plot from here. See? Or the classical way. Go on a character. Right click. Plot to kill. Do it. And uh, you will have here. You can auto invite plotters. Which is basically inviting them. All of them. It doesn't want. Doesn't want. This one. If you pay him. He wants. So you right click him. Send gift. Send. And now he will join the plot. That's basically how it works. Uh, it's very useful to kill a character that uh, is an inconvenience for you. Okay. Factions. Uh, this we will see much later when you have to deal with revolts. Basically, you have to please some of your nobles so that don't revolt against you. Religion is about crusades again much later. And societies is DLC. Okay. So that's about it. Let's uh, start the game for a while and see how it goes. Okay. Uh, 10 gold is really little, so prestige. Okay, okay. Marriage, 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 marriage. Okay, okay, okay. Fulfilled ambition. Okay. So, now I can get a new ambition. Well, amass wealth. Anything that's about wealth is uh, good. 
but uh, because I have improved stewardship, better to have this one. This increases my chances to get events where I can increase my stewardship skills, which basically tr also translates to getting a lot more gold from taxes and stuff like that. So yeah, and uh, because all uh, of my relatives, I think, just to check, yep, all of them are married already. Here impacts, I can uh, form alliances. Right click, form alliance doesn't want, fine. Yes, he wants it. Yes, he wants it. No, doesn't want it. You still get non-aggression packs. So basically, you see right now I have non-aggression packs with him. You can break non-aggression packs, but uh, I don't know why I took this guy. Duke of Transylvania, not very useful, but whatever. Okay. Let's uh, give some time to those alliances. Okay, I have, I have three alliances, one of which is useless. Okay, fine. Burgundy, no. No, okay. So, I have three alliances right now, which is a lot. And this means that in my wars, they are going to help me. Now, there are more ways to conquer land in uh, Crusader Kings too. Here's the important stuff. You can have claims. These are your claims. Diplomacy claims. Claims basically means that title should be rightfully mine. And there are more than one way to get a claim. The simplest one is to fabricate a claim, which is what I'm trying to do here, but this one is very random. Another one is to uh, marry someone who has that claim and your children will have that claim as well. Or to inherit it from someone else. Uh, idea is claim is basically any excuse that you can say to this land is rightfully mine. Uh, but you can conquer land without claims as well. For example, religious wars. You see, here, if you were to play as Leon, you wouldn't need any excuse to attack the Muslims uh, because you are a different religion. You can just declare a religious war. And if you are playing Muslim, you don't need any excuse to attack the Christians as well. Just religious war. But be careful if you do make a religious war. Uh, the other uh, counts from that religion may jump in their defense. So it's, uh, it's tricky. Okay. Uh, what else can you do? You can go for de jure uh, titles. De jure means uh, in Latin by right. So this is the actual map of Europe. Okay. De jure duchies. This is the duchies, basically the duke's realms that are by right. You see? And this is de jure kingdoms, the kingdoms that are by right, rightfully kingdoms. And this is the empires. How is this relevant? For example, Let's see someone here the Byzantine Empire. He can attack Serbia at any time because Serbia is rightfully Byzantine territory. They can always pull that off. Uh, in order to change a digital title, you have to own that territory for a hundred years. It takes a really long time. You can uh, safely assume digital titles to be set in stone. So. As you can notice here, if we are going to the real world, I don't have this land. It doesn't belong to me. This guy is an independent ruler and I'm the Duke of Mumu, but don't have this land. But rightfully, it should be mine. You see, I should be the ruler of this guy by law. So what I can do is right click him, declare war and this is your claim. You see, here are my allies. Here are his allies. Something else. This guy, I have no claim, so I cannot declare war without a claim. I need to have uh, to have a reason to invade someone else. And uh, de jures are very useful, but you don't always have de jure claim, as you can see. But we'll sh I'll show you later how to get the other ones. So this guy, army 575, me 700, fine, it's okay. So, declare war. Okay. Now I can go military, raise my army. Select all my army, move it to one place, start the game, or oh, call my allies. Yep. Uh, if they refuse, they lose prestige, so they will most likely accept. And the same happens to you. If an ally calls you to war, you kind of have to accept it, otherwise you lose a lot of prestige. Uh, because you betrayed an alliance. Okay. Uh, see, this Duke of Transylvania. I mean, 
he answered my call but he's landlocked so how is he going to get here on an island like this is why with ireland usually if you play an european nation you don't really have this problem okay ireland is european but you get what i mean okay i have all my troops merge them and here assign a good general thankfully it's already assigned if you don't have good generals go to council minor titles commander and assign commanders but currently i have more than enough so i don't know what's going to happen here the match is way too close so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait for my allies to come especially this guy i should have probably went for sweden norway as well to check them out holy roman empire will never accept me he's an emperor and i'm a duke too low on the social status okay he's raiding his troops what is here this one means that the longer you troop you you keep your troops okay this guy is going to attack uh, this guy so i'm going to help him the longer you keep your troops the more upset your vessels become this uh, could be an issue later but right now it's not a big deal okay so i joined the battle pretty much already says it victory okay so this is the war progress as you can see if you can click here 50 percent 50 percent from battles if i get one score to 100 percent i can offer peace and then enforce it otherwise i can only go for offer white peace and surrender so right now he won't accept surrender unless it's 100 percent now to see jack castle you just put your troop and stand there like here our troops stand here these are the defenders and gradually they will drain and when they drain to zero basically this is a prolonged siege when they drain to zero they will go out and surrender it's like waiting for them to starve stuff like that if i was the leader of the siege I, I could have called an assault but given that this guy has a lot more troops than me i'm not the leader of the siege now this guy here he doesn't have enough troops to attack my castle so he's doing nothing here basically he has already lost anyway here 81 okay and now i'm the leader of the siege but i don't want to lose troops because if you order a direct assault you will lose troops okay just wait it out a hundred okay click on here offer peace enforce demand look how i expanded my realm really nice now i can go here this band or i can go here this band this band bam that's it nice now i have these four pieces of land but how do i get the rest i mean i want to become king of ireland well i have to take it piece by piece for example this guy can declare war but here's a very tricky thing you can do you see i have a dimmer size of uh, two at best but i can take land from my vessels i mean this guy already he doesn't hate me okay oh he's content that's why uh, content vessels are a blessed basically content vessels have no ambition so they don't care like this guy i just declared war on him and he he doesn't hate me but he doesn't like me either ambition ambitious guys is what you should be afraid of to have the master vessels but they are also very useful for example if you put an ambition ambitious uh, vessel on the border here he may go around and conquer this by his own anyway uh, i can do this uh, move so basically summon all of my troops not sure why so little troops though what's going on okay i think i know what's going on i uh, called that too early yeah uh, right here i should have uh, went to my home uh, capital and then disbanded here is dangerous factions okay this guy wants problems so here's what i'm going to do not not right now not right now see because he's uh, dissatisfied with my rule and he's also stronger than me so obviously he wants to revolt but uh, bad luck for him i have three alliances there and they are very powerful so i can easily pull out this one this move revoke title his county he will refuse and go to war okay this guy uh, ah, i can because i have an, an aggression pact with him right here 
Okay, this guy, I can revoke him. Okay, so I can do this. Right, I can move my troops very far away so that I won't lose battles. I may lose the land, but hmm. I will not be blackmailed. Okay, now he revolts against me. Yep, he revolts against me. And now I'll call my allies. And wait for this to play out. You will see why I need two, two territories right here. Okay. Okay. While this guy sees out, I'm going to go on his land. He can siege me, but it's going to take a long time for him. Okay. Uh, what is this? Parents, a uh, nephew, I think. Yeah, a nephew. Okay. Let's see other ways. King of Scotland. Do you have anything? No, only sons. I don't have daughters or uh, something to. Norway. Come on, Norway. Ah, too old. Okay. Uh, who won in England? Yeah. William the Conqueror, of course. And I bet he still won't want anything to do with me. Right. Okay, let's focus on this for uh, the moment. Okay, I got... Uh, you see, because of this guy in the council, because of this guy, I got a claim on this region. So I can use it. I'm going to use it. And you'll see what happens after I win the war with this guy. Okay, so... Birotoret can marry. Okay, go ahead and marry. Okay, let's... Ouch, almost lost it there. Okay. Oh, a proposal for a marriage. Nice. Okay, nice. One more alliance. Okay. Not, not yet. Here, if I cross the river, I get a penalty, as you can see, because I'm attacking. But with 2,000 troops against 500, doesn't really matter. You see, I mean, even if I cross the river, I have way too many troops compared to him. Okay, so perfect. Now I'm going to enforce demands. And he's in my prison. And while he's in my prison, if I do this and revoke his title, there's not much he can do about it. See, now I have two territories, which is nice, but I could do well better with three. I'm going to revoke this guy's title. And he's... okay. He say no. How about I uh, invite my allies? And I think he was my marshal or something. This guy is leading troops, so not a good choice, but uh, whatever. I can change... Uh, you can change it here if you want. Uh, yeah, train troops. Okay. Nope, I'm going to lose. If you are going to lose, you can always disband your units, you see? No retinues will be because I'm in my own territory. And just going to wait for my allies to handle this mess. Okay. I feel like uh, Austria in the war with the Ottomans. Eh, just going to wait for the Poles to handle this mess. Okay. Now, if I have a son, that's going to be a problem. Okay, whatever. You can roleplay a lot with those events, but right now I uh, want to show you how the game works. Was threatening. Was threatening. Is someone trying to assassinate her? You can go to Intrigue and Known Plots. I don't know any plots, I have four prisoners. Okay, so as far as I can tell, nobody's trying to assassinate my wife. I can uh, spawn my troops here. Whoa, these five units surely will do it. <laughs> and I love that they are going to follow me, me and my five units. Bam. And let's go kick these guys out of here all right a hundred percent enforce demands nice now usually 
Revoke title. Okay. Now this guy is going to hate me. Uh, his content. You see? You see how useful content is? Okay, this guy should hate me, but he doesn't because he's very content. He should hate me because I had three vessels and I just revoked the titles of two of them. And I also had a war with him, but he's, he's chill with it. <laughs> I like this guy. Okay, Dimmer's too big, as you can see right now. I have way too much territory. That's what uh, Dimmer's too big means. But why did I need this? Why did I need more than I can carry? So I can offer them with someone to someone with a claim. For example, I want to take this uh, duchy of Leinster. Okay. So, I go here. I want uh, the count. Okay, let's start with the county. Okay. County of Lakes. Claimants. This guy is a claimant. That means he has this. On both of these, actually. I can invite him to my realm. Apparently, he wants to come. And afterwards, I will give him land here or here. And I can declare war in his name and take this land for myself. Let's see who else. No claimant here. Uh, okay, titles here. Climates. No, doesn't want to. Doesn't want to. That guy is good for a start, but uh, I want to conquer all of Ireland. Doesn't want to. Why? Why not? Uh, you can always. Ah, he's a child, that's why, yeah. <laughs> Probably because his mother won't let him. Uh, okay. No climans. Come on, climans. No climans. Fine. Just my luck. No climans. There's gotta be something here at least. Climans. Yes, he wants to go. Come. Come, sit at my table and I will... Oh, this guy is already part of my land, so I already have a claim on that one. Okay, Climans, invite. Uh, if it doesn't really make sense what I do here, basically I'm inviting all these guys who have claims. Basically this guy has a claim on uh, this territory, County of Tir la la la. This land, Tir la la la. And if I invite him to my land, that means I can uh, justify a word to this guy in order to take that guy's land back. Now, the fact that that guy is going to be my vessel, so under me, is uh, just a average uh, medieval diplomacy thing. Doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so. Let's see. Uh, this guy. I can... Uh, I have to wait for these guys to come, right? I invited them, but I have to wait for them to show up. Okay. Okay, they are. They, they all came here. Fine. So, I'm going to give land to them. I'm going to go right here. And vessels. No, not the vessels. A land. Climates, so I know it's this guy who is also in my realm. Now, better marry him because why not? Here, go ahead and marry boy. Okay, he's married now. Now that he's married, I'm going to give him, give him land. Let's uh, give him this one. Now that I gave him land, he's my vessel. You see, as a vessel, I have uh, this guy who is him who also has claims on these lands. What this means is that this guy, who has a lot more troops than me, but not my alliances, because I... You see, in normal circumstances, I should just wait, and they will have my army replenished in time. But I don't want to wait right now due to the tutorial and the alliances. So, I'm going to declare war on this guy to get this territory, and afterwards I will take this other one as well. So, declare war. Okay, war is on. Call the allies. Hopefully they'll come because if they don't, I'm gonna have a really bad situation with 100 troops. I, I think I don't even need to lift a finger. Of course, of course, I will honor my alliance and that's it. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, event decision stuff like that. Okay. Central uh, stuff. So right now, because this one was approved, I can hold three territories myself, which is going to increase my army significantly. Without penalties. Okay. This guy is going to attack my territory. Let's just uh, fast forward this one. I have a son which is terrible because before, you see, this one, this is why it's terrible. This guy, my second son, is going to inherit this one. So, uh, so my bigger son is going to get this territory plus the whole uh, duchy, while my second son is going to get this small territory, which I don't like. So I will have to go to laws inheritance and go to ultimogeniture or primogeniture before I die which uh, hopefully I will live longer than 10 years 41 ah. <laughs> let's hope I lucky okay come on Denmark yeah there you go Denmark no Denmark how about I help you with something. Okay, let's. Yeah, I'm just uh, hitting randomly those events, but they can be very useful for your stats and interaction with other characters and stuff like that. Uh, no, I don't want more children right now. Really, not useful. Okay, nice positioning, man. Okay. Going need to take this land out here to get rid of the enemies who were in this place. Okay, gonna fight them again. Doesn't matter, crossing river, 82%. You see? Occupation and battles. Soon I will have this land as well. Okay, 100%. So here, offer peace. Bam, this one is part of my land. So I took this land, okay? Now, this guy, not sure why I keep him here. You see, I have a claim on this land because of this counselor. I'm going to move him here, for example, because right now, on this guy, why can I? Oh, because I have the troops raised. Yeah. Disband your army. Declare war. Invite alloys and then raise your army. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, he's going to beat me. Yeah, he's going to beat me, but it's not going to be a fatal, fatal defeat. Okay. I'm playing on fast. Don't play on fast forward, but uh, I'm playing on fast forward for tutorial purposes. So I'm, I'm not making the best decisions, but the idea is to show you the game. Okay, so I have a nephew. Uh, now with the nephews, it's very important to... With your... Uh, the one you play as, it's important to marry them into big families. Like, I don't know, this guy is a German duke. I guess that will do. Oh, Norway took England. Nice. Just Crusader King stuff. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay. I'm going to take this guy out. Wow, this guy is really good. Just got a second claim. Let's say master the planes. I don't know. Oh, uh, this one is... It sucks. Because, you see? This guy is a very good fighter. <laughs> I'm not. I'm... Because I got a trade kind currently, I'm not as good as a fighter anywhere, anymore. It improves my diplomacy and vassal opinion, which is very good, but... Uh, uh, I accept any injuries. Okay, this one with the Craven is very bad. It can lead to depression, really. It's, it's a really terrible idea to pick, usually. Let's accept any injury. 
I also get the trade brave, okay, which is nice. So you can win the battle but die yourself, which is interesting. Which is why sometimes you want to play safe and do this, not to... This is how you say. Okay. This guy, guy died from injuries. Okay, a little bit too late. So I'm playing as his son. Okay. Let's go with the alliances. Form alliance. Doesn't want to. Okay. Denmark. Alliance. We're not uh, allies anymore. We still have blood relations. I think. No, I, we don't have blood relations anymore. But at least I got this land. Enforce the man. Now it's very bad that my character died because of that wound. But I have plenty of land right now, so you see. Uh, from vassals. From the Mers. Okay. Army levies. All right. They are going to increase in time. Okay, just appoint ministers again. I don't even have this claim anymore because my father had it and he died. Sucks to do to happen. So fabricate claim. Same thing. Studies. Improve religions. The Pope, we don't want the Pope to hate us. Uh, close enough. Ambition. Already married, uh, King of Ireland, you just get a lot of prestige, but basically that's what I'm going for, so... A lot more children, I don't want right now a lot more children, because I have yet to make this law, Ultimogenitor, because you see, this is my brother. And he, my brother took this land exactly because I had that law, which I should get rid of. Alright, so... I need to make sure to improve my re relationship with the King of Denmark and again. I can't form a defensive pact because I'm not related to him. Why not? Well, because... This is why. My uh, adoptive mother, who was from Denmark, is not married anymore because my father died. So... Arrange marriage. No, I can divorce. Uh, let's see, how can I do this? We wrote... Oh, okay. You know what? I don't need any German princess anymore. Break the rotel. Yeah, I don't care. Because my son... And... Uh, arrange the rotel. So let's see if is she still in my realm? Yes. Arrange. Okay, it's it's not possible. Okay. Hmm. Do I have uncles? Unmarried uncles? Hmm. Hmm. Danish, yes, but it's not a prince, princess or something. Hmm, I need to get uh, an alliance with this guy again or with anyone else for that matter. But... Uh, hmm. Yes, that could work out. No? Uh, okay, fine. I'll take one for the team, dude. Okay, we can uh, cancel it later, but for now we need that alliance. So go to PAX. Hopefully. Okay. Not alliance, fine. Non aggression pact, yes. Alliance, please, yes. Finally, yes. I'm back on track. Okay. Two alliances. Good enough. So. In order to become King of Ireland, you can uh, go here, Ireland, 
Kingdom of Ireland. You need to control how much? Uh, 51%. So there are 19, so I need to control 9 territories. I currently control only 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I need 3 more. I can get this one, but later. Because I have a... Actually, no. I think I can get it right now. Why can't I? I raised army levies. He had a non-aggression pact, but it was with my dad, who died. But I have raised armies, okay. So I can attack this guy right now, and then I will only need to attack one more dude who was there. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to have nine afterwards. Okay, here we go. Let's make Ireland great again. Call to arms. Of course, I will answer. Thank you for answering your uh, honoring your obligation and answering the call to war because I don't have much troops, I only have from my vessels. But this guy, <laughs> his troops are suffering attrition, which is nice. Excellent news, seven gold, yay. Come on, let's raise some troops here. Okay, 19. Ah, too much of a risk this one. Let's go for a kill and then return. Now go for a kill. Uh, relieve the castle. Okay, 93%. Almost victory. 100%. Okay. Force demands. Wow. Well, there it is. I can create the Duchy of Leinster, which uh, is also important. He's your fine title, Ireland. I need to hold at least two Duchy titles. So, I'm going to need this one. But uh, I need to be very careful right now because if I die again, it's going to be split. I only have one son, so it's fine, it's safe. It's going to be split because I don't have this law yet with Ultimogenitor. Anyway, now that I have this duchy, we go back to that old thing again. These your duchies. You can also go for kingdoms and stuff like that. So, I'm the Duke of Mumu and the Duke of Leijin. And this means that I have a claim of on this region. He should be my vassal, but he isn't. So I'm going to make him my vessel because this land is rightfully mine. Why is uh, why is uh, hmm. alliance? Okay. Are they having? Oh uh, yeah, they have a non-aggression pact with. Uh, Denmark, so I'm going to have to count mostly on my own troops, which means I should wait a bit. Okay. <laughs> but I also have these allies from Navarra who are 700, which is a lot. Okay, still got some gold. All right. Uh, let's be just. Yeah. Let's make this guy. And train troops. A uh, piety. Okay, piety is. Uh, no, I, I don't want more children. Okay. Mm, the pop is still fine with me. Uh, they can excommunicate you. I'm not sure I have some excommunicated guys here. But it's very bad if you are excommunicated. Basically thrown away from the church. Anyone can attack you. It's really bad if that happens as a Catholic ruler. I already have more than twice his numbers. So, and plus allies. So why not? Let's go for it. And call my ally. Yep, let's do this. Okay, 
okay. Of course, you'll answer my call to war. Of course. You can maneuver troops generally. See? Uh, council, minor titles, commanders. Okay, this one is very good. Commander 13 and this one as well. Okay, so the 13 one in the middle. Here are basically no troops, so it doesn't really matter here. Just, no, not the same. Most troops are in the middle, so you want to most... Uh, and uh, let's just play safe this time. Yeah, let's. If I take this guy's whole territory, he'll just have to surrender. If I take his whole land. So that's what I'm planning to do right now. Okay, so I can. I can get a claim on this land as well. Let's take that claim, whatever. Okay. Council. The Chancellor died. But not before he gave me one last gift. Improve diplomatic relations. Let's improve, I don't know. The King of Norway. <laughs> because he's right here. Okay. Okay. If I take this, his uh, whole uh, land, it it doesn't matter what he owns because I basically took all of his land. So offer peace, enforce demands. Yes. You see, bam. Now, vassal inheritance. He will inherit. This guy will inherit it. Who is outside my realm? So, not a nice one. This guy, what bad thing did he do? Usually go on intrigue, non plots. He's trying to kill this guy. I don't really care. Alright, so I have uh, for my Ireland. How much? Okay, I only need to control one more territory. I have eight. Now, I have two ways to go about this. I just got a claim. Didn't I? Yes. So I can attack this guy, declare war, or if I remember correctly, someone here, I had a climate. Yes, here, see? I have this climate. Or Tamir. I, I think both of them, so I can uh, take the rest of Ireland in many ways. Now, here's the kicker. If you want to attack this guy and you send it like this, this guy is not your vessel yet because he doesn't own land. He needs to own land to be your vessel. So if you take this land for him, he will remain independent. You have to give him land in your own territory before doing that. So uh, just to showcase. Okay, this guy. Mm, he has an ally. Okay, this guy. Has a stronger ally. This guy. Who has a weaker ally. Okay. Uh, I go to declare war. But I'm not actually going to declare war on him. Uh, this guy who is uh, in my region. Okay. He can marry this guy. Asha. Uh, now. I'm, I'm not going to give him the capital city. I'm going to give him this land. Which is not very useful for me. And bam. He's my vessel now. You see, now he's a vessel of mine. Which means, any land he owns is uh, under my protection, to call it like that. It's under my kingdom. So, declare war. This guy with the circle. The guy with the circle is my vessel. Bam. You see? You main. You main is right here. And send. Now, yes. I would like some military assistance, thank you. Alright, now you see I have a huge demer size right now. Defeat. Oh, okay, I should have looked at one before. No, 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 no. 
lo que es fucked up big time big time fucked up but uh, it's fine because I have allies I have a lot of allies fine I'm going to retreat in the mountains until Denmark comes to save the situation okay here's Denmark just uh, going to cancel those guys so they won't lose again this movement is automatic when you lose a battle so you it's not like I have and when you stay in your own territory you have some chance to recover but here's my advantage this guy has only one realm so if I manage to take that one out he's going to be on a hundred percent loss so let's try that okay just come here uh, I'm not the leader of the siege, but uh, it's just a waiting game at this time. Also, while we are waiting, you can click on your castle and use money to improve your castle. Uh, you can use money to improve your castle or to have your vessels opinion of you improved. Okay, this guy loves me. Uh, this guy is content. My okay this guy doesn't like me but if I send him some money I will improve his opinion of of me bribe basically which can be useful at times for example if you need a vote for the centralization which I should have done but forgot to do for inheritance I still need to reign for 10 years great and now look at that I can own six uh, territories on my own I don't but I can which I will try to do after I become the king of Ireland all right how salt it's going to make a hundred fine so offer peace in forest demands nice let's go for my iron requirements to see again Ireland what do I need I just need money and piety okay oh and one more territory fine it's fine just one more territory so I can take this guy out he has mm, he's stronger there now this guy is allied with this guy who has a sizable kingdom but currently is doing pretty bad for some reason However, the issue is that uh, I run out of land to give to my vessels, you see? Which means that I will have to revoke a title, which could result in the no and another war. You know the drill, I have done it before, when I revoked the title of those two guys from here. But, for this guy, to which I have a personal claim, I don't need to revoke anything and I have Denmark and uh, Narava on my side, so why not? Let's go. Okay, Denmark. <laughs> okay, just will try to be careful with this one. At least until my troops get uh, in the same place. Okay, this is bad. Denmark is in another war or what happened? Okay, you see what I mean about inheritance? This guy died and inherited this land. This run is not going as planned, but that's a recurring theme. In, it's the trademark of Crusader Kings 2, to have a run not go as planned. Uh, I could have done this, this much more smoother if I was uh, paying a lot more attention, but uh, I mainly focused on uh, being fast. So, it's in a war with... Uh, yeah, that's why they won't help me, they are in their own war, the Danes. But this guy will help me. So, yeah, I got that going for me, which is nice. Okay. Okay, what? Is this Denmark? Why are we not allies anymore, Denmark? Hmm. 
Strange. Okay. All right. Call to arms. All right. Now we are allies again. But I'm going to unite these armies, give them a good uh, commander. Uh, with uh, shift clicking, I'm going to go around this and like that. Okay, that should do it. Okay, Denmark is helping me again, hopefully. Yep, Denmark is helping. Thank you, Denmark. Yeah, I forgot to assign the generals. Okay. Come on. Nice. Uh, if you couldn't get a claim on these ones, just find some more... Li like I have done this guy or this lands, you know, with claimants. Okay. Take on... And let's go for a direct attack on this guy, as we are strong. Now, if you want to get some money, you can go to Intrigue, Prisoners, but I don't have anyone important, you can offer a ransom for them. I won't let, uh, yeah, no, better not be paranoid. Because bad things happen when you're paranoid. 100%, fine. The first demands, yes. Okay, I'm still one land short of uh, the kingdom. But this land was inherited outside my realm. If you want to this not to happen, you can't do it as a duke. You can only do it as a king and I will show you after I become the king. So I can take this land back because even though this guy inherited it, it's still part of my de jure realm, so I can always go to this guy and say to him, not cool bro, this land should have been mine. And this guy has a revolt going on right here, and I have to wait a little bit, to have a little bit more troops. Are his troops increasing? Yes, our troop, his troops are increasing too, so I don't like it. So I'm just going to go right here right now for him. Navara, yes please. Military, military. Alright, let's regroup. Now your troops will regenerate, I mean their numbers will increase while they stand in your territory. You see, but not by a lot, so there's that. Now, these guys are going to be a problem for them. But while those guys are a problem, this land is not going to be a problem for me. Okay, right, no imprisonment. I really don't have time for that. Okay. Hello, Navara, here. You can help me with this siege, you know? That'd be great. Hello? Oh, <laughs> they, they were waiting for them. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's go on five. Speed 33. Okay, not enough troops. I, I really need your help right now. Please. Yes, thank you. Yes, not going to... I'm known as the Cruel because I didn't care what I did there and just uh, let the events play out. 50%. Come on. 81. Now, I'm not going to bother with the revolt because they are actually helping me. I'm just gonna go around it to this land. 100%. Fine. Peace. Enforce demands. And what you see here, one title can be created, Kingdom of Ireland. All I need is a little bit 
Uh, more piety. Okay, so I don't have enough piety. Which means I should go right here with my troops. So I... You see? So that's why I remained with 100 troops at the beginning of the video right here. Because I didn't wait for this to happen. Okay. Piety. So I need to be more religious. Now, I could go for uh, decisions to do this. Indulgence from, for my sins. Hmm. Problem is, I don't know what the Pope is going to ask of me. Oh, okay. Let's see. Glory to God. Okay. I just need to be a little bit more religious. But uh, it does increase over time, but rather slowly, so... Mm, right. Oh, I think I... What if I release someone? Release? No. Funny enough, if it was someone important, it, it would have increased my piety, beca but because it's not someone important... Okay, don't do this, Maria, don't kill this guy. Uh, because it's not someone important, nobody cares. So... Yeah, there's that. How do I increase my piety further? Invite holy man to court. The fact that I'm very bad at learning also doesn't help. This one would have helped a lot with piety. Uh, let's see, a feast, not, not good for the moment. Let's see, laws. Still not trained for 10 years. When did I became king? History, you see? 71. Uh, oh, just two more years and I will have reigned for uh, 10 years. Alright. Technology, military decisions, factions. Everyone likes me in my kingdom at least. The Pope. Hmm. Oh, lose prestige. Okay, I don't lose piety. Hmm. Okay, pact. Defensive pact. Okay, opposing that guy. Really doesn't like the Holy Roman Emperor, as I can see. I can just wait it out. In the meantime, we will also complete those two years. Normally don't wait it out, but... Uh, okay, 85. Hmm. If I were more important and had more money, I could have went on uh, Rome or Jerusalem on an expedition to one of the holy sites to increase my piety, but like this, not a chance. Okay, here's our... Uh, you see? Because I, I don't want to do this, but uh, get the keep. The keep is very useful. Because it increases your levy. Your levy is basically this one, how many troops you have. Right now I have uh, 1,500. Alright, 87, come on. Can I buy more indulgence for my sins? I was a very big sinner, you know. Mm. Not getting any religious events either. It's for the glory of God, of course. Of course it's for the glory of God. Yes, come on. One more. One more. Oh, whatever. Perfect. And here I can create the Kingdom of Ireland. And I'm no longer a duke. I'm a king right now. I'm on the same level as Scotland and France. So they may accept marriages right now and stuff like that and also my new du jour level is this one so i can justify all of this as being rightfully mine and in fact i'm going to do it right now ambition fulfilled go for wealth now i can have more children but uh, let's go for wealth okay offer vassalization does he want no Clearly won't want it. Okay, no. 
offer it yes it's going to be my vassal yes you see when you offer vassalization a lot more things are taken into account but because i'm a king and uh, in the domain that's rightfully mine they are going to say yes yes this guy is going to say no i ask for ransom Ah, don't really care all right here see how my kingdom extends overnight wonderful yes 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 wow here we go so we only have these three pieces of land left two pieces of land left i can create a duchy but i'm not going to bother it's useful to create but uh, you know how to do it right now so you go here and create and uh, you can assign dukes under you right now i don't have any dukes under me but uh, right click uh, grand land the title you see duchy of legion make sure you have uh, two duchies for yourself which i do currently and as many counties as possible i can have eight right now but it will soon decrease because i want to change the succession law which i think i need only to wait one more year so i will do that and now that i'm king at the realm i have another uh, issue keeping tom papal here crown authority you see this influences how much levy i mean military your nobles have to give to you but will also lower their opinion of you it's ideal to keep this on medium because it will also give you certain uh, benefits as a king uh, this one is very useful because as you can see vassal titles can no longer pass outside the realm through inheritance which is exactly what happened here in Legion. but uh, medium uh, leads to less conflict because it's you see minus 20 opinion versus minus 10 you'll have a permanent negative modifier right here okay i'm trying to find someone who really hates me but uh, had a lucky run here you see this guy has minus 20 exactly because he's my brother and he has a claim to my kingdom to not my kingdom my duchy only me and my sons are going to have a claim to the kingdom itself not going to want to be a vessel i just took his title so no again fine okay uh, i'm just going to show you the inheritance stuff and then end the tutorial this is why i don't want to bother conquering this but you see uh, uh, this your claim and uh, bam this your claim and also one more thing i need to fix i need this alliance but i don't like that it's uh, uh, matrilineal so i'm going to break birotol sorry denmark I, I just backstabbed you but if you want i mean sure but not uh, like that anymore Yes, they are fine without it. Now, yep, now my my nephews are going to be from my dynasty because it's a normal marriage right now. So, yeah, and uh, yeah, Denmark, oh, they took an issue with it, but not enough to break ties completely. I mean, yeah, really took an issue with it all right just waiting for uh, how much specifically oh seven five mm, okay it's going to take a while a revolt here in scotland yeah scotland is a great starter kingdom like if you want to start with a kingdom rather than a duchy but i recommend starting with a duchy right here this one to be your first game but if you want to start with a kingdom as a king i recommend starting with scotland because it's very isolated i don't recommend starting here it's it's easy once you know the game but it's very difficult to learn the game here other uh, starts i don't know the holy roman empire too big and byzantine empire to learn it uh, this guy could also be useful to learn it uh, when his whole land goes together uh, hungary poland croatia uh sweden also a good start uh, for a kingdom i mean but uh, this duchy of mumu 
is the best in high middle ages all right <laughs> this guy is not strong enough to beat that revolt you see <laughs> so they are just standing there as their own independent kingdom why the title can be usurped why is this because if you go with duchies i have one two three out of four lands and he has only one so i can usurp this guy land he's going to cost me some gold uh but yeah let's do this now i have another duchy i have three duchies so i can give one away hmm i could do this pull up a pro gamer move my son is going to become the include lower titles as well the duke of this okay but the count sorry he's the count uh, I don't think I can give him to him. Yeah, I can give uh, duchies because I don't have uh, this realm law. Ah, here it is. You see, I need to have limited crown authority, whereas for a primogenitor, I need to have high crown authority. That's why I can't, uh, it's easier to do ultimogenitor. Okay, dangerous factions. Who is this guy? Why does he hate me? He just does. Ah, he wants the duchy. Okay. He's got a big army as well. Not good, not good. Didn't I reign for 10 years already? Oh, I, I need to reign for 10 years in the Kingdom of Ireland, I think. Yeah, it's going to be a while. Yeah because now this is my highest title i should have waited went for ultimogenitor law and then created the, the kingdom so not my best run here but uh, you get the idea because you see this is uh, the realm that it represents so only in uh, only after 10 years i can do that until then i have to conquer everything else basically these lands keep this revolt in check uh, either uh, by two ways basically first one make this guy like me which i don't have the money right now but i will soon let's see if that works not really advisable but uh, for the sake of the uh, argument okay okay right click again send gift okay probably not going to stop him now not going to stop him or i can get stronger than him this guy for some reason he also is part of the revolt he is up but it's weird because he has a hundred percent opinion of me although i think it's because he desires yeah he desires uh, that duchy that's why he wants to be the duke of this uh, of this uh, Legion. Now there are multiple ways to deal with this. You can fight them in open revolt, and after you defeat them, which given that I have had allies, I mean I have this one with uh, 2,000 troops, so I can be win this. I can take their lands, or I can simply up please them. For example, this guy is upset that he's not a duke, right? Okay. What if you were to become a duke? Like I can give him this land and he may chill down. You see, he is going to be uh, just for representation. Bam, he's a duke. Okay, I got to heal and I'm fine right now. You see, he's a duke right now. Now, some people are going to stop if you, if you give them what they want. Others are not. For example, this guy wants elective succession, which doesn't really help me. I want ultimogenitor or primogenitor. Elective succession only works after uh, uh, all the... How do I say this? Uh, all the dukes are of my family. Like, my son is uh, Ua Brain. I'm also Ua Brain. This guy is also Ua Brain. Because then no matter who wins, is going to be part of my family 
Another way to deal with this guy and his revolt is to make him a vessel. Now, this is not perfect, but look at this. Transfer vassalage. Which land is this? Uh, Brethin. Alright. Brethin, okay? Bam. This guy is no longer my vessel. He's the vessel of this guy, who is my vessel. So now, he's not gonna cause me problems. He's going to cause problems to this guy. Okay, but this guy by his own now wants to uh, create some problems. So, uh, I didn't fix the problem fully. Because this guy had the most of the army. Alright. Uh, heresy. So, religious map. There we go, we have some heresy. To deal with this, go to the council, positions, clean up this mess. Do you want to join my kingdom? No. And no. Uh, now, it's not advisable to fight while you have internal conflict. Better fix your internal conflict before fighting uh, outside. And make sure you have allies, they are very useful. For example, I only have one son. But now, my goal should be to stay alive for 10 years, so I can change this law to Ultimogeniture. So my succession is safe, and then have as many children as possible, make as many alliances as possible, and uh, basically expand. Like, I, I'm going to take all of England, and make this empire. And uh, with an empire, I'm going to be on the same status as the Holy Roman Empire and the Byzantine Empire. Mm, basically that's how a run goes, like in single player it's really really easy, it's in the multiplayer where the complicated stuff begin. So I, that's it, I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, good luck in your games, see ya!